Mike Landry here. At the opening of Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are undead with one of the stars of the film, Chris Lemke. Thank you so much for making it. You know that we've always had a fierce attraction to each other. And it's just good to, to, to get us back in the same room together, don't you think? A little bit about that? It's a little overwhelming, actually. I don't know if I feel good about it. I, I'm being this close to you. I'm a little, um, I'm a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. uh, I might even be sweating a bit. I'm sorry, Jake. Um, could you just give us one sec? Chris and I are having an interview right now. There's a camera. If there's a camera, Jake Hoffman can't. He can't stay away. There's a camera. It's like, it's like moths to the flame. Uh, you play best friends in the film, Jake. What was it like working with Chris Lemke and imagining him as your best friend? How'd that go? That was easy. That's why I, that's why I wanted to crash his interview is because he's way funnier than me, so it's easier to let him do the dirty work and m kill two birds with one stone or moths to continue your analogy. Kill two moths. Two moths with one stone. With one light. Yeah. With one interview. Two moths. Two moths with one well-lit interview. Hey, tell us a little bit about working with Devin Aoki. Uh, well, she's a very sweet girl, and just, you know, to, to play in love with her, I had to do a lot of substitutions and really kind of imagine a, a beautiful girl, a really amazing girl. Yeah. Cause She's, no, she's all of those things. Yeah. Were you at all intimidated f with the love scenes with Devin? Well, that was the weird thing when we were filming is I, I thought it was just the two of us in the bed and then you popped out of the covers. I don't know. <laughs> I thought the producer is supposed to, supposed to be producing. That happened, that happened in my scene too and I didn't even have Devin in the scene. I was just doing a scene in bed and there was Landry just yeah. popping out with a 120 New York mic. Now, quick question. Who is your favorite acting producer that you worked with on this film, Rosencrantz and Carlos. 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 Carlos did a great, Carlos great job. Yeah, funny. Carlos? I was really, yeah. But yeah the, really, really you mean funny. the extra Carlos? <laughs> the, the background player? This is Spanish male horse. Don't leave. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are undead. What was I supposed to say? Don't kiss me. Oh. It's playing here. It's pl that's what in we're doing. New York, we're coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are undead. Playing in New York on 2nd and 12th. And it's going to be playing other places too, hopefully near where you live. Yes! All right. All right, there's the hell right. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are undead, where professionalism reigns. I'm a prostitute.